Hello guys, I'm back. It's another day. We've seen this in the last episode, but I needed to take a break from the game, so it's another day, and uh, hopefully I will be less triggered at our main characters. Also, I think the game is gonna end real soon. I've seen playthroughs of like. like still don't know what the fuck that means. Um, I talk to Tessa. But, as far as I know, he used to be a Just girl. Try to keep in mind that your memory of her is 10 years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. Bitch, she didn't want anyone to contact you, so. so I'm guessing this is Michael. Stop your bitching. Yes. I like the artwork. Yeah. Sup? Can you. Can hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yeah, yep. brother. We're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying co worker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co worker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get a... Whoa, 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 <clears throat> oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be <laughs> cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> you can easily. Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot Where called Buzzer Ball. I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill. Especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just hey, man. She Fishing's fun. Fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Sure. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. Sure, brother. We running. We running. some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Tessa don't know shit. Okay, never mind. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Sup? Whoever the fuck you are. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did Aww. you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? <gasps> Brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect mm. to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower okay. this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town? Or? That's so fucking More awkward. Less, we've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. 
Oh, uh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. Okay. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Mm. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Don't bring her to my place. She hates him. Her. Okay. So we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Okay. Let's, let's get candles. Where the fuck do we get candles? Candles, candles, cleaner. There Any we go. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend... Mm, organics better. There we go. So, uh, what kind of lure would you use for a steelhead? Well, it's hard to beat little Cleos, but depends on conditions. Wait, is this a pop quiz? <laughs> hey, I had to be sure. Candles, candles. What can you blame? Let's see. There we go. Fresh cut peonies. No. Triple layer chocolate chip cake. Toasted marshmallow. Wait. Are you doing a dramatic reading? Oh, that's candy? candle. Okay. Nope. Mm. Plain candles are fine. Okay. Don't know why I thought that those were cookies. Let's go. We got our shit. Hey Tom. Man, There's something I can help here. you with? We could stock up on frozen waffles. What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. Okay. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to you later. We got everything that we need. Strawberries in November. What do we still need to get? The snacks. And the drinks, of course. Can't forget those, because I get really parched at night. And drinks. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any OJ sound good to you? Yep. Okay, <clears throat> that's enough juice for a day. Okay, I guess we're going to the shop every day. No, no. Need help with something? No. No, just do an inventory. Snacks. We don't want in on this. Trust snacks, me. snacks, snacks. You think snacks. you can take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Can I take the snacks, please? Tough. Okay, snacks. There we go. Hey Tyler, <coughs> candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. But 30 bucks for a bottle of birch syrup? Mm, I'll take the chips. <clears throat> I couldn't take the cookies. Okay. I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Really? I thought we could just steal everything. Hey, Tom. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, Allison, but I'm folks around here need guns. guns hey, for bitch, shut the fuck up. I'm talking to my friend Tom over here, man. We run extensive background. Will that be all? Fuck, yes. man. Thank you, Tom. There's a bunch of coins. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus, beard. Yes. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. Uh, she's shifting. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? Yes. We want to ask you some questions about her. <gasps> oh, no, you found it. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know. 
but I need to ask. Why are you being so shifty? Did she know? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? The heavens, no. It never came up. Fucking told I found you. out much later, just like everybody else. Mm. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Mm. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's <laughs> Okay. That's all we can know. Sure. I need to go now. Sure. Best of luck to you. It is all a like God's plan. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Wait, where? What? What? Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's let's go in the back and interrogate her ass. Hello. Is there something I can do for you? Yes. So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky. But you're looking the day at off, the huh? desk. <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any um shaving products? <laughs> We've got some on sale. Okay. I think he's got everything. But uh <coughs> good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. No, never mind. What? Okay. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. What's this doing here? Easy game. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. What the fuck is St. Paul? Man, Tessa keeps track of okay. everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out? It's great how I'm just looking at private food, shit while she's right there. She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. <clears throat> what now? We dipping? Or... Oh, oh. oh, there we go. Remember. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne? Can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, come here. Your excuse this time. Emergency repairs for the beaver dam. Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? <laughs> huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? How are there two different versions? Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? Yes. No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Okay. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? So what really yeah, happened? Slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. What is it going to be? I want to talk to you now. 
Or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. The this fuck is that? Kids, Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Oh, you she's... Hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... My God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. <laughs> really Fine. Let's go to your office. Oh shit, let's go. Right let's go. What's wrong with you? Uh oh. Okay. What the fuck is that? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. Interrogate, okay. interrogate, now that we know interrogate. She's lying to our faces, let's ask her. Yes. <clears throat> interrogate her ass. Lock the bitch down. Is there something I can do for you? <laughs> Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, mm. didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Bitch, you know no, everything. In the middle of something. Okay. Hey, man. You to it. No. no. What? What's wrong with you? I think she knows more than she's letting on. Yes. But duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music the was too loud books. to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Okay. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Let's go talk to Tom again. Hello, Tom. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? Jeez. This might be a weird question, but... Do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? <laughs> they played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. Why? A bit cheesy for my tastes. It's CD track one. This is it, right? No. I think so. <laughs> Whoa. I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Yeah. Okay. Should we check this one out? Remember. Mom, stop. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> oh, yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you 
you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? Remember! The kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. Oh, just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet earlier. There are memories still here. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the storm. I needed help two hours ago. Damn! You drinking? What? No. Just She's definitely day, okay? been drinking. No, no, no. She I was drinking. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on. Let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. The confusion, okay, I get What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Marianne? I don't know. I... Can I help you, Allison? Bitch, shut the oh, fuck up. Uh, no, no thanks. I'm just I'm good. taking I'm just notebook. I'm looking for something that I... Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? <clears throat> Read. Jew, Elijah, June, twenty-four dollars for a meal at the restaurant. Paid off. Okay, eleven dollars. Doll for the kids. Eric B. February, fifty bucks. March, paid off. February's debt. September, twenty dollars for gas. Paid in full. At least they paid her back. Oh shit. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October. Marianne April Five months before. Fifty bucks for that gas night. paid off. Thirty seven dollars plus thirty dollars for new jacket for Allison paid off. Helped at the store. June twenty five bucks for medicine paid off. Paid off. Handletter word for culmination. Check bounce, no mm. show for the turning calls. Ah, uh, it's not ten letters, Tom. Okay. Mm. Okay. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Oh yeah, 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 pamphlet. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? Casting call... The fuck are drawbreakers? What the fuck is that? Uh, no... Hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. No, not here. Uh. uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Elephant in the room. Sees the day. Robin Williams. Okay, whatever. Okay, your order was shipped. Ah, there we go. What? Is that 
that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. What? What if I told you the government owed you ten thousand cash to go to school? This is not a loan. You won't have to. Be. This is not a scam. Okay. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. We know. Is there something everything. I can do for you? We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Ma'am. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts? I never. Like I'm some kind of loan shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have time stamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. Oh shit! Um, 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 uh, 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 u
She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years, and now it's... I would gone. feel more guilty of killing an innocent person. What do you mean? She clearly had nothing against you for being transgender. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Sure. Feels like... Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. All the endings... Uh, actually, all the options that you pick get you to this point. It's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. Oh he knew my god. Well. He was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. Yeah, I'm sure we he don't thought I was care. Off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. I guess talking to that guy will be the last part of this chapter. Or... Yeah. Police department. Wait, what's with the sound? Okay. <clears throat> That feeling when you this only have bleak. It's usually just a little bit of coffee left. Punch out at six but you, then you think like small <laughs> sips. No after six. In the mean streets of Delos Crossing, just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle There's Eddie no can usually handle them on his own. What a hero! Oh yeah, let's confront anyway, Eddie. He's probably in his office upstairs. Sure. Let's go upstairs then. Damn. Home sweet home. Yeah. You spend a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. What? What? The fuck happened? Breathing in here. Remember! We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with the Yeah, room. I thought you were still here when Anywhere I Anywhere but a cell. Or find some other place. Okay. God, Tyler, you coming? Here we go again. Chief Edward Brown. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. Bullshit! Sure. She was talking to the Maybe Asian chick. Coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. No, I don't... I Come keep... back upstairs when you're done, okay? Let's let's listen in on the conversation. Can we listen Coffee in? Sound good? No, machine no, 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 no. in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Can we... I want to listen in. Mm, not possible. You think you could find some files about Marianne in the archives? Yeah. I don't know, but it's off limits anyway. <laughs> no, it's closed. Those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Buh. It's a beaver. Remember. Where are we going? Oh, I totally fucked with the memories. We're just gonna sit down in here. 
this one should be first, then the other ones. It's private. I need to find the break room, restroom. Reception. Um, I didn't notice. But I mean, he's probably feeling awkward since, you know, he didn't take his gift. Great. He's making it weird. What? <sighs> Something's in the way. Are we breaking in? <laughs> Man, they are never gonna catch this guy. What exactly did he do? This guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes. <laughs> this asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape I ordered online. <laughs> uh, see, I was picturing an actual mailbox bandit. You know, like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door. Huh? You know. Okay, let's go in. Yes, you know. You okay? I'm just feeling a little nauseous. There's a memory somewhere over here. Move that. This is heavier than I expected. Yeah, don't. Allison, I'm not that hungry. Coffee. How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? I just saw something. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. What's the plan? Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. Oh. It's all gonna be fine, okay? Regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now? No way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. Hmm. Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. I think he took the blame. Him. That's you what I... go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? First time I've wow. been in here since that night. Oh, we snooping. So he dropped the bait. Okay. Huh. Oh, that it's there? another no one. Way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? Okay. Another collectible. Anything? Wait. Okay. What are you looking at? Uh, this poster. I kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest, hunting for goblin treasure. Just wanted to be anywhere but here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else interesting, maybe? So, isn't Brown waiting for us? Bitch, you wanted to go in this room, not me. Isn't Brown waiting for us? Fuck off. It's because of you that we are here. I think that she killed mom and he took the blame hey, for it. Sorry that took so long. <clears throat> Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Uh, hey, you remember this guy? Never. Of course. 
Tyler Ronan. Oh, Ronan. The prodigal okay. son returns. Coo, 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 coo. Yep. Damn. Damn. Um, if looks I didn't even kill, recognize man. you at first. I heard that a lot today, Chief Brown. Chief Brown. No need for that kind of formality. Not with family. Uh, uh, huh. How you finding Delos Crossing? Change much? Uh, same dump, different year. <laughs> well, we're no Juno, but lots of folks feel at home here. It's got to be good to be back with your sister, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Look, Eddie, we are here just to say hi. We found something in Marion's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Marianne worried about something. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? Nope. About Tyler in particular? Nope. No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Don't Kept the rest you. of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being mm. unconventional. Mm. Usually. It's the other way around. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Uh, I beg to differ. We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. Why not? Procedures. But you're the chief. Which makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? Or are you going to be a cop about Tyler! This? Damn, no, man. It's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking Shh. years. That's what this is about? Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. Mm. I just went along. Mm. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal, and you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please, let's move on. She's never gonna tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Oh, shit. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's turn everything around. Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Yeah, yeah let's make him was feel that bad. Miserable. Yeah. I know you felt that way, little moose. What? It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Show us the file. Look, we've all fucked up. Show we've it. all hurt each other. Some more than others. Isn't that what family's for? Uh, Can't we just move on? No. Sounds like the right call. Bit, bit, what? <laughs> Sounds like this. I... I wonder who raised who. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna stay Imagine the house. him we being just going. like shot out of nowhere a through bike a window. It's on me. Fucking headshot. Right you out there with empty stomach. I would not turn that down. Okay. Let's go. No. Okay. Never mind. What? 
Okay, that's freaky. That's a bad memory. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know. No fucking clue. I have a feeling something bad's gonna happen as a cliffhanger for the next chapter. Oh no! Allison! Allison! Oh! <gasps> whoa, 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 relax! Oh! <gasps> it's right there! It's, it's right there in the center next to the tree! I knew she did it. Why though? I guess this is what we found. I killed her. I killed her. No, 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 no. We need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're gonna tell them. No, no. Yes, we look out for each other. That's what goblins do. S and you two are sisters. you two are way too into this goblin bullshit, man. Your mom just tried okay. to kill you guys. Really? Okay. Schizophrenic. I think their mom was schizophrenic. So that's the end, huh? Okay. So, you pay 30 euros for two and a half hours of content. Eh. Eh. Why just. Why don't just make an animated movie at that point, you know? Shorten that shit to two hours. But anyways, <clears throat> I thought it was a okay game, I guess. Um, as I said a few times during this episode, I got a feeling that she killed the mom, and he just took the blame to protect her. I also think that she was schizophrenic and she saw the mad hunters and that kind of bullshit probably thought that some of the bad characters she thought of possessed her daughter slash son the transgender guy and that's why she wanted to kill him I don't think she differentiated between her son and the mad hunter at that point at the last moments but yeah I, I, I am gonna play the Allison was disappointed that Tyler didn't accept Eddie's offering okay Allison was delighted to solve the princess riddle with her brother Tyler felt unrecognized by Allison's lack of trust at the store, okay? Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. 
Okay. Tessa shut out the twins about Marianne. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him at the station. Okay. Cool. Oh, we get another scene. So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? No, he wants to be a police officer. Last check out, E. Brown. Okay, so Brown checked out the... Okay. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this chapter. I am gonna play the next one as well when it comes out in like a week or so. So hopefully you guys watch that as well. Um, hope you had fun and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.